Hey guys, what is going on? They just released the new teaser trailer for the movie Stream, brought to you by Fuzz on the Lens, the same guys who brought you Terrifier, Terrifier 2, upcoming Terrifier 3, and some other cool films. Now, I personally am really excited to check this out. I hope you guys are too. Let's jump into it. All right, guys, so let's check this out. It's just like a, uh, what is it, a, a teaser trailer. So it's a minute and 10 seconds long. There's not gonna be too much to really digest here is my assumption. Uh, but let's take a look at it and see what we can get. We can't trust anybody here. Anyone I'm going to be in on this. All right, real quick, real quick already. Uh, so let's go back here. We can't trust anybody here. I see we have Jeffrey Combs just popped up. If you don't know, he's from Reanimator, a bunch of other stuff. Uh, Anyone? I just saw... Where is he? Our main man, Michael Levy. This guy who's been on the channel before. I've interviewed him twice. Maybe we'll go for a third time at some point. You guys let me know. But yeah, we got Michael Levy, Fuzz on the Lens, who is the producer of this movie, which is also the producers of Terrifier and Terrifier 2. Uh, but what I wanted to go back to see is, well, I don't know what's going on here, but I, I think I like it. So I'm excited to see where this storyline goes. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, we are running Steve a Wallace. game. Our game, Daniel I Perry. admit, is a rather unusual one, <laughs> but I can assure you that it will be far more entertaining than anything you have ever been a part of. This right here reminds me, I, and just, I'm pretty sure I'm right on this, but I think Jeffrey Combs was in a movie called Would You Rather, which uh, it's a cool movie. You can find it on Netflix if you haven't seen it yet. It's a fun watch. But he he does this whole game where he has people at a dinner table. And he does a Would You Rather, and it's basically all, you know, what would you do for this amount of money, essentially? Would you uh, cave in to your uh, vices for this money? And I think that that's kind of what's going on here, which is actually pretty cool, pretty intriguing to me because I really like that movie a lot. So I don't know, but we'll see if, uh, if we get anything like that. But also, um, let's go back here a second to those names I just pointed out. We got D. Wallace here. Okay. Uh, Jeffrey Combs, Danielle Harris. I don't know exactly what her role is in this film. Film yet. Our game, I admit, is a rather unusual one, <laughs> but I can assure you that it will be far more entertaining than anything you have ever been a part of. Felissa Rose, Sleepaway Camp, Felissa Rose. Play ball! One of these guys is David Howard Thor, and I just don't know which one, but the dude who played Art the Clown is in this movie. I know he's one of these guys. There's an old saying, curiously killed the cat. Although it doesn't really apply in this situation because your curiosity that, has no that. bearing. Look at that. Look, go, let's go back here a sec. First of all, that's a cool shot. That is awesome. But I think, I think, and I could be wrong, but this looks like there are maybe some sort of a casino. What is that? No glass? No glass and pool area. Okay, so this is at a hotel. That guy's definitely in a robe. But that is some sort of a slot machine, I think. So maybe there's a casino in the hotel or something like that. But look at this guy. Look at Tony Todd. We got the candy man in front of a car just engulfed in flames. That's badass. That dude's a living legend. We know that. You live or you die. Just how painful it's going to be. Showtime! Blood on the ground means points on the board. Blood on the ground means points on the board. That was cool. All right, man, I'm stoked for this movie. Let me go see here. Uh, I actually have the page pulled up. From director Michael Levy, Steam follows Roy and Elaine, whose family is drifting apart. In an attempt to save their fractured relationship, they have decided to recreate a family vacation from their past. That won't be easy as the hotel they're staying at is stocked by four killers. Blah, 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 blah. I mean, it seems pretty straightforward. And look at this here. Look at this frame that we just happened to stumble upon with uh, big man Jeffrey Combs watching everybody. Oh, look at that. If you look over on the corner right here, there is a Scarepros uh, logo I'm seeing. Scarepros is a store in Pennsylvania, which is actually not that... It's a drive, but it's not that crazy far from me. I've been there before. It's pretty cool. I know that they were doing a... Uh, 
Indiegogo campaign a while back to get this. I actually caught uh, Michael Levy at a convention a couple of years ago when he was telling me all about this movie. After we finished um, shooting Terrifier 2, the same crew uh, went over and made this movie called Stream. Damien does all the practical effects on it. David Howard Thornton's in it. It's got Jeffrey Combs, Dee Wallace, uh, Danielle Harris, uh, Felissa Rose. So check that out. We actually, we're 90% done. We left 10% open to offer to fellow horror fans like us, you know, that's what we are first and foremost before filmmakers. We love movies, we love horror, and we're given a chance and opportunity for people to come on board and, and be a part of the project. Um, I know when they did the Indiegogo, you can put in money and you can get some perks. And I know one of the cool perks on here was to get your business featured in the movie. Uh, so that has to be one of them right there for Scarecrow. So that's hilarious. There might even be more of them thrown in. I'm not sure if there's more than one. Um, I don't know how many of those they did, but it is really cool. And again, if you guys, this, this was backed by Indiegogo, so this is a crowdfunded uh, film. And I believe, I, I, I might have chipped in some for this too. I can't really remember. It's been in the making for a while now, but I do remember there were some cool perks. There were like some screen use things, stuff like that. So, uh, but anyway, this movie looks pretty awesome. So I am really excited to see it. So there it is. I mean, it looks like a really cool film. You guys let me know in the comments below if you're excited to see it. Um, but based on the storyline, like I said, you can't really tell too much just by looking at this teaser trailer, but that's the reason it is a teaser trailer, I guess. But yeah, let me know down below what you guys think. If you're excited to see stream and if you backed it if you did what kind of cool perks did you get because i know they were giving away some really cool stuff for a minute there so if you guys are part of this movie that's awesome thanks for making things happen it's always good to support indie uh films but anyway guys don't forget to hit that subscribe button i'll see you in the next video